Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. For those of you who might be new here, you can get to know us better using the links in the description box to Facebook and to Instagram. Also, if you're new, I would love it if you subscribed and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any new videos. So happy September. Can you believe we are already into September? I can't believe it. Um, it's just crazy. So I thought today I would share my favorites. I didn't share my favorites from last month. It it takes a minute because I use a lot of the same things over and over. They are true favorites and it takes a minute for me to kind of go through some new things and figure out what are my new favorites. So I'm going to start with beauty, clothing, accessories, household stuff, pet stuff, kitchen stuff, AJ stuff. So here we go. So a little while back I was on the website hip to save It is a coupon money saving kind of website and she was discussing and sharing some um, deals on a makeup line named Emma of New York. And I was needing a little bit more foundation. I wanted to try a few things, especially since it was a sale. So I got the foundation in 2.0. Still a little bit light for me, so I have to use a bronzer to kind of like warm my skin up. Um, but it is such a nice lightweight foundation. Um, it's very easy to put on. It's very easy to blend definitely been one of my favorites this past month and I've used it almost every day including today so there's the foundation I also got this little kit that has a blush there we go and some eyeshadows in it as well and that one is evening glamour and then I got the well, let's see. I think it's in here, actually. Let's see. Yep. I got the um, concealer as well. So, the concealer looks like so. It's got two different colors. Like a light color on the inside and a darker color around the outside. And it really does lift and brighten. I've been using this every day as well. And I got their... Their duo in Uptown, it's got a bronzer and and a blush. So, loving that. Um, it can be sh shadow as well. And then I got their pressed powder. It's the, it, the high perfecting powder. It's like an HD powder. You can certainly see where I have used that. So, those have definitely been favorites. Um... I've used them every day. I did get their mascara, and it, unfortunately, is not a favorite. It's got this gigantic wand on it. See that? But my favorite mascara that came in sample-sized is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I have a large one, but somehow I got a small one. It does have a larger brush, a spoolie brush, but I love it. And it looks amazing on. Now, let's just continue with face. So, before the pandemic hit, I was working with a company called Mix Easy. And it's basically where you choose a base and you choose five products that are natural and organic. And you either pick a fragrance or you don't. And you order what you what is perfect for your skin. So they got dragon fruit and all these different extracts that go into it and you can pick up to five. So the first thing I got was the face cleanser. Here it is. It has my name on it back here. And this has, um, I don't know if it says exactly the ones I put in it. I know I put dragon fruit in all of them. Um, well, so hard to read. I need my glasses. I really need my glasses. I can't read it. But I picked my five ingredients for my moisturizer for my for my face cleanser. I picked the five ingredients for my face cream and the same for my eye cream. So it really was a 
company that I wanted to work with. I was excited. But the pandemic happened and I haven't been able to get anyone to answer email even though you can still order online like like sponsor emails. Not like I'm you know, I'm, I'll probably will reach out to them again um, to get more information. But normally I would have a discount code for you guys, but I'm still waiting on them. However, they are in my favorites because I use them all the time and they've been great for my skin. So again, the facial cleanser I use twice a day, the eye cream twice a day, and the moisturizer twice a day. They smell amazing and um, it's very specific to each person's skin. So while you're looking at the different extracts that you can add into your products, it's going to tell you what those extracts, herbs, different different things that are organic and all natural it's going to tell you how they're going to benefit your skin so obviously if you want tightening i do know that dragon root or or what is it dragon something um that one is is for skin tightening they have all kinds of different extracts that you can put into your products so i really enjoy those products and i I want to talk about them more and I might do a full review um, if I ever get a hold of anybody um, but I understand so I'm sure that part of the team is is not doing things right now I'm not sure but I was so happy to work with them and I'm happy with their products um, so one of my favorite perfumes is hypnotic poison I had a big one when I was married to Art, a good size, and then I got the, and I lost it, and then I got this one. See how small it is? It's like the little apple, poisonous apple. And it has such a musty, fresh, I know it's weird to say musty and fresh in the same sentence, but it's so beautiful, and it's so well made. And it's extremely expensive, at least on my budget. So when I was looking on Amazon the other day, or last month, not the other day, um, I typed in hypnotic poison. I was debating, do I need to get more? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I found through Grand Perfumes an oil that is basically a dupe for hypnotic poison at a fraction of the cost. So here it is. And I absolutely love this. I could take a bath in it. Now it is a dupe. It's not 100%. It's not 100% hypnotic poison, but it's so damn close that I don't know if I will ever buy it again because it's so expensive that I will probably just buy that. And when this runs out, I'm gonna refill it with with this. So it's just one of the best perfumes. It will always be. A favorite and you know you guys sometimes when I'm just like working on the computer and I look like crap I put a few drops of this on and I just feel like I look better I don't know it's crazy I feel, I feel more put together so definitely a favorite um, I'll link it on my Amazon shoppable page and anything else that I can find from this favorites video will be in that shoppable page so let's see is there anything else let's do more like bath and shower oh so there is a top to this makeup brush container and um when i ordered the emma makeup i got the emma brushes so i think i think it comes with six brushes foundation brush powder bronzer blush brush could be used for all a blending brush an angled brush um, uh, I forget what these are called a little smudger brush and a, just a standard flat eyeshadow brush that held up so good I do have some of my other favorite brushes in here but I'm going, I'm going to find that post from hip to save so you can see the dates that they have the Emma stuff on sale in case you're interested in trying it out um, I'm really happy that I did I really really like their brushes they're a fraction of the cost and they're nice so when I was getting this the pump came off um, it fell and broke so it's gonna be a pain to use it but something I've been loving here lately again it kind of 
of goes with the hypnotic poison. It's kind of got that woodsy, musty, berry kind of smell is the Neutrogena Rain Bath. And this one, I think, is the original. They do have one that's blue, but this is the one I actually, like, grew up on. It's what my parents love to have. It smells really good, and I even use it on AJ. Just got to be careful that he doesn't get any in his eyes, but when I went to get it out of the shower, I dropped it and broke it. But this is so nice, and it's so refreshing. It's very moisturizing. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I, it's been a while since I could find it, but my local quarter, or Kroger's, um, has that, so they just, they just started stocking it, so I'm very happy. Another item that I tried and loved in the past month, um, is the Head & Shoulders, um, Deep Moisture Mask. You guys, this was really, really good for my hair. I was dealing with some dryness. Little, I felt like my hair was a little bit brittle. Um, I felt a little bit itchy. Not bad. I didn't have any dandruff, though. But I wanted a heavy moisturizer. And this did a great job. Great job. Did so good. And I still have one more use in it. So, two uses out of one pack. Which is even better. Okay, so now on to clothing and accessories, and I'm making a big, noisy mess. Okay, so I think in my last favorites, I said I was wearing a lot of different dresses. Um, today, I'm oddly in yoga pants and a t-shirt, but through the month of August, I wore as many of my little sundresses and comfortable dresses, cotton dresses, long skirts as possible. So this one from The Loft is one that I absolutely love. It's got like a built-in slip with it and it comes right below the knee. It's this kind of print and it's just one of those summer dresses that you can wear and you can dress up with a nice pair of wedges and throw your hair up and put some makeup on and look pulled together or you can wear it with just some sandals or flip-flops and you still look amazing so this dress is amazing I love it this one is from Tommy Bahama it is this green again hold on right to the knees now some of my clothes are pretty old um, this one is a few years old I think I got this the last year I, w I was with Scott but it's one of those dresses that I wear a lot um, it's just comfortable and if I'm feeling a little modest I have a little sweater that I can wear with it but it's so nice on hot days and the same goes with my summery long skirt so this is a beautiful summer long skirt that looks so pretty and ladylike and it's comfortable and it's so light as you can see it's just like like a silky material and I've had this one the longest out of all of them but it's just so pretty it's well taken care of it's it's just something I plan on keeping for a long time and I wear it every spring and summer and I'm so happy that I've had it on and just making the most out of the clothes that I have I definitely could use to go slot shopping but I have so many clothes and before I do that I definitely need to purge some and really figure out what I like and what I'm still wearing which is why I have been wearing more skirts and such because it just makes more sense to enjoy some of the pieces that I already have that I don't wear that often. One of the accessories that I have definitely loved is this purple ostrich bag crossbody, crossbody bag actually. It is so summery and it holds so much and I've taken it on so many hikes and trails with AJ and Ryan and it just is and you wouldn't think that like you know it's it's super light it's it's just one of my 
favorite handbags of all time and it goes really well with stuff like the skirt it has quite a bit of purple in it like it's just one of those summer handbags that I will probably always love and always go back to um, I usually don't use it in the winter though so let's move on let's go into some of the household stuff and some of its camping stuff as well so we go through a lot of batteries in our home with the remotes the cameras i mean you name it everything in this house takes a battery it feels like these recharge battery rechargers that you just plug into the wall have been lifesavers i have two of them and um you can you have to buy the rechargeable batteries of course i wouldn't stick just a normal battery on here even though i'm sure it would charge it a little bit for you but this has been a lifesaver it seems like the netflix remotes go dead the quickest i don't know but this this has been so handy around my house I use it all the time and it just charges our batteries it's so simple it's money saver too so Ryan had this light it has a magnet on the bottom and this is what it looks like I'm gonna turn it on it's got this little hook that you can hang it on stuff and I have used this dingo light so many times since he basically gave it to me he, I think, got it at a company party, and I'm like, I'm taking that light. I really like it. Um, AJ loves flashlights. I have a lot of lanterns and such. This basically just added to my collection. And with camping and hiking and going through different caves, even with AJ, some extra lighting is usually really nice. So most of the time when we're hiking, I will at least have that in the car. Um, in case I need it. Speaking of stuff in the car, this Stealth Angel Survival tac Tactical Kit, something my mom got me, is another item that I love having in the car when we're camping or even just for emergencies. Um, it is so nice. So, this has like screwdrivers and all kinds of stuff. This is a fire starter that we actually use to start a fire. This is a bottle opener as well, so you can open a bottle. This one has a saw on it. It has all kinds of little handy things that you can use. There's a compass, I've never used that. There's a whistle that you can put on your keychain um, in case you get lost or have an emergency. And then there is this um, pin. It's a pin, but it's so much more than a pin, so it's got this little poker on the end. It's kind of hard to see. It's got this little poker on the end and you can bust out your window with it like if you're in water or something like that. And um, this is like a little sanding area. This kit has, and this is a ruler as well. I mean, the more you look at it, the more you will see different things. Like here's another ruler. Um, there's just all kinds of little tools in here that make it easier when you're either camping um, or in your car and maybe have an emergency. So, I love that. It stays in my car with my first aid kit. Now, speaking of camping, this is something I've had for a very long time. This is a waterproof phone case um, that I've used so much to keep my phone safe and it is from the Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment and it really does you can drop your phone into the lake or into the creek and it's going to be protected so this has definitely been a favorite as we have moved through so many different camping trips and state parks this past year now let's move on into the kitty cat stuff because I only have one thing to share with you so I bought this cat food recently. This is the blue sensitive stomach with life source bits. And you know, you sit there for a while and you ponder and you don't, you want to switch it up sometimes, even though I know it's not the best for their belly, but sometimes my cats are craving something different. So Romeo has his urinary tract food, but Gabby seems to have a sensitive stomach quite a bit. So I got this hoping that it would make a difference and boy has it ever. 
no hairballs, no like, sometimes she would throw up her food and it's been none of that. So I really appreciate that food for, you know, taking care of her and making sure that her, her stomach is um, not upset. So from the kitchen, one of the favorite items for both AJ and I are these gluten-free natural chicken nuggets. So this is what the bag looks like. They're 100% all natural gluten-free chicken nuggets and they're made with tender white juicy meat chicken and coated in savory rice flour. Um, there's no antibiotics, there's no hormones, blah, blah, blah. Delicious. So, so good. AJ eats them for lunch. I eat them for lunch sometimes. They are just delicious. Another little treat I found are these little cake bites, um, classic Italian rainbow cake bites. And it's got chocolate sprinkles, rich dark chocolate coating, raspberry jelly, and almond flavored cake. So that's what they look like. When, oh my God, they come in these little packages. I'll go ahead and open one up. I gotta be careful. Um, because I can eat the whole box and not get twice about it. But I just want to share with you. So when you open them up, you smell them instantly. They remind me somewhat of a macaroon with the almond um, taste to it. So here's what they look like. You get three in a little set. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. They're delicious. I'll be right back. Mmm, I love it. I only ate one. I didn't eat all three. So I found these at my local Kroger's. They had another variety of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna get them next time. These are such a good little treat. I love them so much. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you is the mask I got from Amazon. Here it is. It has a metal bar for the nose up here. It's got a little vent or whatever you want to call it. It's got a removable filter. It's a part of life now and we all have to wear masks almost everywhere we go. This mask is so comfortable. It's easy to wash. It is... You're not really getting any venting from right here. At least not that I can tell. But I can breathe in it easy. I don't have like claustrophobic issues in it. And... I don't know you guys I like it I like that it's black now I have a bunch of other ones but I like that it's black it has adjustable ear um, little things but I took them off and again very easy to wear and it doesn't like take my breath away so check it out and now I have it in my Amazon store which is linked below so I only have two things that I'm gonna be sharing of AJ's because AJ is laying down right now and I didn't want to go get all of his favorite stuff and start hauling it out of his room before nap time but we've really been into books and one of his favorite books is the dog's colorful day a messy story about colors and counting and then Pop Up Peekaboo Pumpkin. Now, I'm sure I shared this last year because he got it last Halloween, but he loves this book. We've been having so much fun reading it. The Daniel Tiger Potty book is another one of his favorites. That's in my car right now. Um, but we've been reading these books every day. And it's so nice now because AJ used to never let me read to him. Um, he would take the books. He would try to read. And it just was like kind of frustrating at times. But he's letting me read to him. He's letting his daddy read to him. His brothers and sisters. And yeah, we're really, really happy um, that we get to do that with him. Um, but he loves those two books and they're the ones that he's been grabbing for really the most okay so i'm getting online right now so i can tell you a few of my favorites um so one thing that i've been using and you probably hear a lot of youtubers talking about it because that's how i heard about it it's just kind of blown up but it is an app called notion um let's see here um, 
So what it is, it's a way to organize basically everything, especially your content on YouTube, your personal life. I've been using it for the past, I don't know, two weeks, maybe, maybe two weeks. I'm still kind of getting used to it. Help me stay productive. Of course, I still love my planner that I use every single day, but having something on the computer that I can just jot down and, or type up, I guess, and have that to refer to without having to flip through my planner, it's nice. So it's definitely a favorite for this past month because I've really enjoyed it. Um, let's see. What's some other channels I've loved? I've really been enjoying um, the Prairie Homestead. I haven't been enjoying the Elliot Homestead. Um, the Absolute History Channel on YouTube. Everything on that. Um, hmm. I'm just kind of looking. Girl in Calico. I like her a lot. Uh, there's tons of stuff that I that I watch um, from YouTube and sometimes I'll watch it while I'm doing dishes or cooking dinner or just lots of random times sitting in the car waiting for a doctor's appointment just just odd times when I can when I can tune in for a few minutes so um, that's mainly what I've been loving, and I think that is it for this video. So, those are my favorites for the month of August. I hope you find something that you might want to try. I think out of everything besides these delicious little cakes, my favorite, favorite, favorite would have to be the Grand Perfumes Hypnotic Poison Dupe. It just makes me so happy to wear it. It smells really good, and they have all different kinds of scents. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I always love watching favorites because I get an idea of some different products I might want to try and what's working for other people. I don't know. I just enjoy sharing um, what I'm loving and I love watching what other people are loving as well. So please take a second and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below. If you have any questions on anything, let me know. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video.